Hi, I welcome you all again in accounting. My name is Ayush Vardhan. Uh, today we will see the bank reconciliation statement. So, so earlier we have seen the in introduction part in very brief regarding accounting and uh, related concepts of accounting, uh, some uh, way of doing accounting like journal, cash book, pass, uh, and uh, what is uh, difference between all those. So we have already covered. So we are moving a step further today. Today we will see the bank reconciliation statement. So we will start uh, with a bank and some entry methods like how do we make entry in cash book and how we do make how do we make entry in a pass book and once we make any entry in cash book then what effect happens on the pass book and, and similarly when we make an entry in pass book what does effect happens in cash book okay so basically we don't make any entry in passbook passbook entry is made by the bank we only maintain the cash book as per the uh, as per the records of passbook okay. so the first entry we make in the cash book that is the debit entry credit entry so in credit entry what happens when changes are issued by the firm to creditors of the firm, then bank will debit the firm's account when these checks are actually paid by the bank. Okay. Yes. What happens is, when you make a cash book entry uh, in the credit way, form in your cash book, the same entry will be debited into your passbook. Okay. And what is credit uh, uh, for the cash book means? Credit for the cash book means we are uh, issuing a check to someone. Means we are paying to someone. Once we are paying to someone uh, in the past book, it, it will be treated as uh, credit. But in the bank, it will be credit credit it as the debit okay? so this is the basic difference once you make credit entry in cash book the same is debit entry in the uh, once you make a credit entry in the cash book the same is a debit entry in pass book again when we make a debit entry in the cash book same is the credit entry in the Passbook. What happens when someone is paying you something? You are getting a check. That is a payment. You are uh, you delivered some. You have delivered some services to anyone, or you have sold something. Then what happens? The the person is uh, paying you something. He is deb your debitor or customer. He is paying you something. So you will make the uh, that as a debit entry in your cash book. What happens in the same in the passbook is that is a credit entry. Okay. So pass in the passbook we uh, or bank statement we have a separate entry a column for credit and debit. So it will clear very clear the, that the it is the inflow of the money or outflow of the money. So you have to be very uh, particular about it. So you make a separate entry in your passbook. Everyone has seen the passbook from your childhood. The bank passbook is the same that. Right? So there are two types of things in the, in the bank. What happens? One is a saving account. Another is the current account. But when we are talking about the business scenario, we see the current account in the use 
what happens in the current account is you can use some overdraft what is overdraft let me tell you so if you have 10 rupees in your account and you are withdrawing only 4 rupees that means you have 6 rupees in the credit okay so you still can withdraw the 6 rupees once you withdraw those 6 rupees then your balance will be 0 in your account okay but in the current account you have a facility that what you can do on the basis of your earlier record of banking you can do uh, withdraw more than 10 rupees you have the 10 rupees deposited in your account but you can withdraw more than 10 rupees that is suppose you have withdrawn 14 rupees so what does that mean you are in the debit of 4 rupees that is a negative amount or you can so that is an overdraft basically this is how overdraft is being created okay now next is what is banking reconciliation and why we do it the banking reconciliation concern maintains the cash book of recording cash and cash transactions the cash book serves the purpose of both the cash account and the bank account what happens is uh, business concern maintain the cash book what do they do they maintain a cash book any business firm suppose you are a shopkeeper and so you maintain your cash book recording so there uh, you record your all your cash transactions and bank transactions as well so how do we uh, make uh, the bank transactions and cash transactions both there we make a debit entry for uh, our cash book transaction and the same amount of credit entry in the passbook transaction if we are paying to someone so we are making a credit entry uh, in the cash book and we are making the equal debit entry in the passbook so the cash book serves the purpose of both in the cash book and bank account so we maintain the record for the both in the cash book next is bank also maintains an account for each customer in its book so when you go to bank and uh, check out your uh, bank statement so they give you a passbook or bank statement where bank maintains all the records or all the transactions made by them so here bank doesn't uh, know about the cash book so what entries have you made in the cash book they only make entry regarding what transactions of your bank account has happened okay so they only maintain all those in the past then what we need to do we need to uh, reconciliate uh, the cash book and passbook statement so for this purpose we prepare the bank reconciliation statement so we uh, in uncertain interval we want to know so what amount uh, of cash have we spent at what amount of cash we have earned and all those records you maintained in your cash book and you want to match that with your passbook okay so this matching process is called the banking reconciliation okay and we make a statement for that so that is called banking reconciliation statement or BR so this is the definition uh, bank reconciliation statement is a statement prepared to reconciliate the difference between the bank uh, balances as per the bank column of the cash book and passbook of any given date so it's very clear banking reconciliation statement uh, is a statement prepared so why we uh, why do we make it to reconciliate the differences so which kind of dif differences uh, differences between the balances so which balances balances as per the column of the cash book and passbook so 
uh, what entries we have made in the past class book and same uh, entry for the uh, other entries of the same time period in the past book. So we have to be specific about some time period. We take a deadline here. When we do bank reconciliation, we take deadline. That means uh, we are doing the reconciliation till 31st March. Okay. So that is the deadline. What does it mean? That means is you are uh, making the change. You are reconciliating uh, the entries till 31st March. You are not going beyond like a uh, some entry uh, that is going to be happen on 1st April. You are not going to consider that. Just anyone. So suppose you are an student and you want to make your monthly uh, balances. You want to see how much money do I have in the pocket and how much have I spent. So you create a deadline for that first. Once you create a deadline, then you make that uh, account. Okay. So in the BRS, the same way, you have to create a deadline that to very specific thing that you have to uh, maintain a last date on which we are doing the reconciliation. So now we will see the reasons for differences. What happens is generally when we do the reconciliation, we find some differences in the, in the bank account or we may find some differences uh, in the cash flow. So suppose no, the thing is the final balance doesn't meet a lot of time. So what could be the reasons? The first reason could be uh, sorry, it, it may happen due to some timing or transaction. Okay. So another uh, reason could be the recording of transactions by the bank. So same transactions are not being recorded at the same times or due to some errors or something. So first we will start with the differences due to timing. Why we do uh, get the differences due to timing and what are these differences? How do we get these differences due to timing? What is it? So transactions are recorded in the class book or in pass book at a different date. It may happen. What happens is there are two conditions. How do how does this happen? So first is check issued but not presented for payment. So what happens is you have issued a check to someone. Uh, yeah, this is the thousand rupees check. So what happens is according to you you have paid the thousand rupees to someone. Okay. So you make an immediate entry in the cash book. Suppose you are paying a check on 30, uh, 30th of March and your reconciliation date is 31st March. Okay. So then what happens is mm, the person whom you have paid is not going to bank on 30th or 31st March, he is going to bank on the 1st April. So you are making a reconciliation and you have a deadline of 31st March and the person whom you have paid is going to bank after this deadline, he is going on very 1st March, uh, April. Okay. So here a bank will uh, clear that check on 1st April, they will start process. Uh, so bank will make an entry on 1st April and you have make an entry on 30th of March and between 30th of March and 1st April you have a, a reconciliation date deadline actually of 31st March okay now what happens you have made an entry and bank has not made an entry so there could be some differences and no one is wrong here, uh, like uh, you cannot force anyone when you have to take payment from the bank. So bo both are the correct, the payee is correct and the uh, whom who has been paid is also correct. So no one is wrong, but the difference has been created. So we will see these issues in the banking reconciliation statement as well. This is the very first issue and uh, second issue. Uh, due to timing um, could be someone is paying you 
uh, check. Uh, but what happens is that check has not been encased. What does that mean? So someone is paying you a check. Well, how much time does it take to come into your account? What happens is today is 30, uh, 30th of uh, March, suppose. Okay. So for, then what happens? Someone is going to bank and deposit the um, check into the check box. This is how anyone presents the check into the bank. They directly don't go to counter uh, for the check purposes. What they do? They go to uh, bank uh, and uh, they put their check into the check box. And suppose uh, the check has not been uh, taken out from that uh, check box on 30th of March. So that check is uh, taken out from that box on 31st March. Okay. Then what do banks see is this is the SBI bank and the check uh, is of ICICI bank. So there is a particular channel. How do we encase that check? So first they ask to ask, uh, ICICI that this check is valid or not. If this is valid, you make this much of uh, uh, this much amount of transfer into my bank. So this process takes at least one to two days time. So if it is taking one to two days time, then it's already in uh, April, so first or second April. What happens in that way? You have a deadline of 31st March for banking reconciliation. Again, the same thing is happening. Is bank has been uh, check has been deposited into bank but not yet collected. Okay. So here again the difference has been created. So we will see all these. How do we make entry for these into the reconciliation? Okay. So this is the very first issue, differences due to timing. Now we will see the second difference, that is a uh, difference uh, due to mm, uh, differences due to recording of transactions. Like uh, these differences are may arise when transaction is recorded by the bank in the passbook but not recorded in the cash. So. What uh, what is differences due to record, recording is the entry has been one sided. The same entry is not recorded in passbook and cashbook both. So what kind of entry this could be? Some uh, bank is allowing some charge charges like interest or annual charges, or bank is paying you some dividend or paying you interest. Or bank is uh, paying to your, or bank is paying to in third party on your behalf. So, like you have told the bank, you directly make my health insurance payment. Okay, so you don't come to know, but bank um, does that uh, transaction just because you have made a bank authorized you make payment on my behalf. So, bank does that payment. And you don't get the uh, get to know that that payment has already happened unless you reconciliate the, the bank account and your cash book. So this is how these differences are created. So some examples of these are like interest allowed or credited by the bank, bank charges and interest charge or debited by the bank, or uh, direct payment made by the bank. Extending instructions of account holder, as already talked about uh, the insurance payment, is that you have authorized to bank to make the payment. Another is a direct deposit made by the customer. Uh, sometimes what happens is uh, someone does the NEFT transaction or online uh, transaction. So that online transaction is something that happens in your bank directly. You don't come to know and you don't make the entry into your passbook uh, cash book but the entry for the same has uh, happens uh, by the bank in your passbook so this is again the single entry not the double entry here then bank receivables uh, collected by the bank on your behalf 
we have uh, like bank uh, takes the payment the, the uh, same way bank makes your payment uh, to someone the same way bank also takes uh, payment on your behalf so that is again a single entry dishonor or check uh, will discount so if you see this point letter what is dishonor or bank uh, bill or check bill payable uh, made by bank on your behalf I, we have already talked this thing so next next to go to uh, uh, another point uh, so uh, that is difference due to error or omissing in the recording what is this these differences may arise due to an error committed in recording transactions in cash book by account holder or in the past book by the bank what happens is sometimes you make a wrong entry either in the cash book or bank makes a wrong entry in the uh, passbook so this could be a reason or that uh, differences may occur so we have here we have to see uh, and uh, the reason uh, why this mistake has happened and what could be done to resolve these mistakes so uh these are uh, let's see in the further or these errors uh the error committed by the account holder in the recording of transaction okay so the the very first uh, error that could be by the account holder so what uh, account holders so what mistake that account holder could make the first is the account holder has issued a check but that has not been recorded in the cash so this could be an error so check deposited into bank but omitted to record in the cash book so you make uh, you deposit uh, someone is depositing a check on your behalf or you are depositing a check for yourself anything could be the uh, any reasons could be here but that has been wrong, not recorded in the cash book so you are not making a proper entry the reason is uh, that so this could create a difference. Another is uh, error in totaling or balancing of bank column in the cash book. So in the cash book, you have two separate columns related to bank and your uh, own transaction. That is bank column. So what happens here is you don't uh, do the particular thing here. That is, you don't do the balancing and totaling. Uh, of the account what, what is the inflow of cash what is the outflow of cash you don't do the proper balancing so you uh, don't get the correct number so that could be an another error so for that you have to be very particular uh, while totaling and you have to cross check all the uh, accounts uh, multiple times another error that could be made by the ban so what error that could be so those uh, uh, error could be like wrong debit or credit account in the account holder uh, account. Someone's you know, sometimes bank uh, puts the wrong entry, uh, or it, it might be that it is a computerized process, so computer might make some error. So at your uh, account, someone uh, the entry happens of someone else. This might be an issue. So more we have seen these uh, a few times when we see we find that uh, so this is a wrong entry so if you uh, then you realize oh it's not the entry of my account it's the entry of someone else's account so, so uh, then the bank official uh, just make that corrected manually so that could be uh, one uh, way how the errors could be happened by the bank another could be sometimes you see that bank is charging uh, for the same say twice like what happens today suppose today is the last day of your interest payment into your bank so, and there is sufficient amount in your uh, bank account and what you do you make the manual um, uh, payment you make a manual payment for that uh, interest 
you have already authorized the banks to pay so the or to, you have authorized the bank to, to make that transaction by themselves okay so what happens is you have made an a transaction uh, you have made a transaction of interest manually and you see that the same amount has been uh, charged again by the bank so here you see the two entry for the same so this could be an error you don't record that bank has already be, uh, has already uh, done that because you don't know uh, regarding the interest payment that bank has already made but what you make the entry you make entry in the cash book that you have manually charged uh, you have manually uh, paid that interest okay. so this could be an, an uh, second error that could happen uh, uh, like uh, due to some error in the recording process now we will see in the detail and the dishonors of check the dishonor of check is also an, a type uh, why differences is being created so what is dishonor of check in simple language uh, the it is like when check bounces the check bouncing why do the why does that happen when check is overwritten means the name on the check is not clear or uh, written twice so that could be a reason signature is absent signature is not made or doesn't match uh, to bank the specimen copy third is name of uh, pay is absent or not clearly written so, so whom you are paying these things and amount written in words and figures doesn't match so in the word something else is written and uh, in the uh, digit something else is written okay so account holder uh, is not mentioned clearly or it might be absent account number uh, that you, in which account you want to make the payment and uh, drawers orders the bank to stop the payment of the check some anyone could be this like uh, you, you have issued a check but you are now saying to bank that no i don't want uh, this payment to happen you, you are cancelling that check. so this could be thing or court has uh, is issued uh, some order that uh, this check cannot be in cast so this could be another reason or uh, drawer has closed the account before the presenting the check like check has been uh, issued but when the person is going to bank to deposit that check he finds that oh this account has uh, been like closed so that could be an error so again is uh, the insufficient fund you don't have uh, the much uh, fund or is, uh, you the fund is insufficient in your account and you have issued the check that is uh, larger than that account that you have in the uh, account bank account. or bank receives the information regarding that or, or legacy or insolvency of the drawer like sometimes what happens is bank gets a uh, information that no this person has uh, already died uh, so in that condition bank cannot make the payment uh, alteration made on the check is not uh, proven sometimes you make some changes in the name of like you are writing the name and uh, the, uh, you make some mistake in writing the name then you uh, make the changes in the name and do the initial signature there uh, for and uh, that signature is not matching to bank account so that could be an un reason or a date is not mentioned or written uh, correctly on the uh, check okay. so that could be another reason of this honor of check now we will see the uh, preparation of banking reconciliation the bank reconciliation statement can be prepared in two ways. Uh, the first is uh, documenting of balance reconciliation statement without adjusting the cash book balance. And another reason, uh, another way, a method could be filling the bank reconciliation statement after adjusting the cash book balances. So uh, once you don't uh, do the uh, adjustment in the cash book. 
first and in the second method you make the cash flow adjustment fit first then you go for the uh, reconciliation with your bank uh, passbook okay so there are some conditions uh, for this preparation that is uh, do you have the favorable balance or do you have the overdraft or unfavorable balance in the uh, bank so what is favorable balance favorable balance of cash book that is debit balance or uh, passbook and credit balance for instance you uh, in your cash book your debit balance should be shown and in the passbook the same is credit balance has to be shown so that comes under the plus column when you make the bank reconciliation you put a plus and a minus sign uh, in the reconciliation statement and uh, all the favorable balances put in the uh, under the plus sign and all the unfavorable balance the that is the overdraft balances that you put in the minus sign okay so these are the two uh, favorable and unfavorable balances so there could be uh, now four method uh, two methods for favorable balances and two method for unfavorable balances so how do you make the reconciliation first is you start uh, with cash book uh, another is you start with pass book so when you start reconciliation you have to take a uh, basis on which basis you start the reconciliation the first basis is a cash book. another basis is pass book in the both in the favorable conditions and unfavorable conditions both you make uh, you do these two methods so total mm, these are four that uh, in the favorable you start with cash book and uh, in the favorable you start with pass book uh, you in uh, in the case of overdraft or unfavorable you start with pass book and you start with cash book okay ah. now we will start with uh, steps to prepare bank reconciliation statement so how do we do the reconciliation in actual so what happens so you have to first decide on the deadline okay you have to decide the deadline when you are going to start the reconciliation on which after which date uh, that that will be the that will be deadline and till that date you have to make the reconciliation so, so the very first either for the favorable or unfavorable both you have to make a date selection okay then the first item in the statement is generally the balance as shown by the cash book or the pass book so how are you going to start to do the reconciliation are you starting with the pass book or uh, you are starting with the cash book the way you are going to start is so that is the method of recon reconciliation for the both favorable and unfavorable okay so uh generally what we do we have the whole detail of the cash book we are very familiar with the cash book so what are the entries we have made and what are the transactions and in which circumstances those transactions have happened all those you are very well aware of, of. so you generally start with the cash book okay but we will see the examples of the both what you know, how do we how does it happen in the cash book and how does it happens with the pass book when, when we do the uh, Start. Okay, the the deposit checks which are not yet collected are deduced. Means uh, in the favorable condition, all those checks which are not yet collected but deposited into the bank. Okay, uh, means the check has been deposited into your bank, but that has not been credited, and that has not. Uh, been yet uh, like that has uh, not been in cash yet are uh, did from your uh, in your brc okay then all check issued but not presented for the payment those are added what means you are issuing a check to someone okay now here and he is not going to bank uh, on the same day or the transaction in the bank doesn't happen on the same day it happens a few days later and in that condition what happens is 
uh, yeah, uh, there's an entry mismatch, and so that mismatch is to be recorded in the positive side uh, when we are doing the uh, starting with uh, something like cash book. Okay. All items uh, of charge such as interest on overdraft payment by the bank, extending instructions debited by the bank uh, in the past book, but not entered the cash book. Uh, what happens is the bank is uh, make a charging some interest or bank is uh, making some payment on your behalf and you are not making entry of, of all those uh, in your cash book just because you are not aware of that bank is doing that automatically so that has to be in the negative side of the BRC statement okay the next is uh, all the credit uh, given by the bank, such as interest or dividend, uh, etc., uh, to be added. So, if bank is paying you something like uh, interest on on your savings, so, so bank pays you interest uh, time to time. So, all those have to be uh, in the positive side of the BRC. Okay. Another could be um, uh, like. Or oh, what, uh, whatever dividend uh, you have some shares and all, and uh, the dividends uh, related to that is being paid to you. So that comes into the positive side. Okay. So on these basis, we match uh, the uh, BRC statement with the cash book total and uh, uh, pass book total, and these two will be uh, match exactly in in the case of no error. Okay. Now we will see uh, the issues related to overdraft. So, what is the condition of overdraft? Overdraft means you have uh, make some uh, extra payment, uh, then the balance you have in the bank account. So this is basically a negative number. So what what is uh, saying that uh, someone is saying I have ten rupees in my bank. So he has 10 rupees saving in, in his bank, but in case of overdraft, he has uh, made a payment of 14 rupees from that 10 rupees. Now he is in negative 4. The uh, amount he has in the bank or she has in the bank is in negative number. So that is overdraft. Okay. Overdraft are where the bank accounts becomes negative and business in effect have borrowed from the bank. The same I have talked when in the case of business you have a current account situations in the current account situation you pay uh, some extra amount than what you have in your uh, account actually so this is for this bank is allowing you so this is how you make an overdraft so in the bank account overdraft is generally shown as a credit Account. Like 4 PR means you are uh, owing the 4 rupees of bank. You are in the negative 4 rupees. So after that, PR is mentioned. In the bank statement, uh, it's not, not CR, it is uh, like a DR is mentioned. Like uh, in the bank statement, uh, where it is written that 4 DR. So that is uh, you are in the overdraft. Okay. Overdraft of four, uh, 4 rupees that you are uh, owing the 4 rupees of bank. So that is uh, the amount you have to pay back to the bank. So uh, overdraft is a negative number for the bank reconciliation statement. So in the bank reconciliation statement, if we have some overdraft, we will put that in the negative side. Then we will start uh, the further and uh, all the further entries will be made as a favorable condition when you are not in the overdraft situation okay so now we will see uh, some example the very first example here is uh, related to favorable conditions and we are starting here with cash book entry so after that we will see the favorable and uh, starting with pass book entry okay so what is the question here question here is mr binur uh, want to make the BRC on 31st March. So here, 
31st March 2017 is given as the deadline and so we, then we will see the entries what are the entries that uh, Mr. Vinod has made. So here it is showing bank balance as per cash book is 50,000 he has and check issued but not presented in the bank that is of 6,000. Okay. So these are uh, a few entries that has been uh, shown here uh, that is done by Mr. Vinod. So now we see how we have made the uh, BRC statement for this. Okay. So we have 50,000 in our cash book. So this is a positive number. So this will come into positive side. We all know that simply if we have balance uh, positive uh, in our cash book or pass book, then that comes into positive side. If there, that, that is uh, uh, what you say, if that would have been over draft, then that have uh, come to this section of uh, negative. Okay. Now here, uh, the second entry is related to check issued but not presented for the payment. Okay. Next is check issued but not presented for the payment. So what happens uh, here is we, the check has been issued. Okay. By Mr. Vinod. To Mr. Uh, Ram. Okay. So now Mr. Ram is not going to uh, bank on the same day. So Mr. Vinod has issued the check, but Mr. Ram is, is busy in his own business. So his uh, he has made a decision that I will go to bank, but I will go after a few days. Okay. Then what happens is the moment Mr. Vinod has made a uh, 6,000 rupees payment uh, by check to Mr. Ram. At the same time, he made an entry of 6,000 rupees in his cash book. Okay. But that is not presented in the bank side. Uh, that entry is not uh, made uh, by the bank. This is because bank doesn't know that you have issued a check or not. Ba bank knows about that once Mr. Ram is coming with the bank with the check and uh, asking the bank person so i have this check given by mr vinod so give me the payment of 6000 rupees now so what happens is here uh, your target is uh, uh, like passbook okay so when we start with uh, a brc we have to decide what is our target so on the basis of target, uh, we uh, we do the BRC entries. So what happens here is uh, entry will be in the positive. Why? Because this has not been presented in the bank and uh, rupees have not been drawn for the bank. Okay. So these are some extra rupees in the cash book. So here cash book in the positive. Okay. So pass. Uh, what happens is, uh, suppose you have balance fifty thousand rupees is, uh, in your cash book, and uh, uh, that is after the six thousand rupees you have made the payment. The after the check uh, check issuing. So that check issued of 6000 is not in this 50000 these are different means now it is total 56 okay but uh, bank doesn't know about all this so here what happens is uh, a balance as per cash book that means the same uh, balance must have been in the bank as well okay because uh, this is how this happens. So uh, now what you do is you have made a 6000 payment to uh, uh, Mr. Ram. So in that case, your uh, balance uh, in the BR uh, cash book side goes negative, but bank is not um, bank has not gone into negative just because bank is yet not knowing the thing. Okay. 
So our target is in the positive or zero. You have issued the check, means you are into minus six six thousand. Okay, but your target is here. Passbook and passbook uh, doesn't know about this six thousand, so passbook is in the positive or zero, say zero, just because it is a uh, cash book is minus six thousand that has been issued. Once you are paying to someone, so you are going negative six thousand, but your target is uh, passbook that is not knowing about this six thousand, so it is zero. So minus six thousand is less lesser than zero, so your target is in positive. You say, so once your target is positive, then you will make a positive entry. This is a hack actually. We have a rule that when we issue the check but not presented, we will uh, put that in the positive entry. But sometimes uh, there are some confusions. So in to resolve that confusion, what you do is uh, you see that where this entry should go. So in in that case. We will first uh, see how have we started the entry. Have we started the entry with cash book or pass book? If our entry has started with cash book, then our target is pass book. So on the basis of uh, pass book, uh, uh, we see uh, we, we make the entry in the uh, positive or negative side. We see the effect. On the passbook, either passbook is now in the positive or negative. So if passbook is in the positive, then we do uh, the uh, entry in the positive side. If passbook in the negative, then we do the uh, 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 if uh, if passbook is in the positive, then we make the entry in the positive side. If passbook Here is in the negative. Means your cash book is now has a bigger balance. Uh, then you put that entry in the negative. Okay. So let's see with example. The, uh, that example is our first entry. The check issued but not presented for the payment. Means you have issued a check of six thousand. Means your cash. Uh, suppose you uh, forget about the first entry of balance. Uh, the cash book of fifty thousand. You don't look into the first entry. You now you look only the uh, only into the second entry. That is, you are paying six thousand rupees to Mr. Ram. Okay, Mr. Subodh is paying six thousand rupees check to Mr. Ram. Means Mr. Subodh has issued six thousand rupees to Mr. Ram, but Mr. Ram has not yet uh, presented to bank. Means you not presented to bank. Means passbook doesn't know about it. But the cash book knows about it. Means cash book has gone to minus six thousand because that has been issued to Mr. Ram. Okay. Here now, what we see that uh, pass book doesn't know anything. Means pass book doesn't know anything regarding that. In that condition, what happens? Pass book in the positive and cash book in the negative. Pass book positive, so we will uh, make a positive entry. Or Plus six thousand. Now dividend collected by the bank. So you have some shares in the market or something. You are the owner of any company and you are getting some dividends from there. So here again, passbook. What happens with passbook? That is something. Uh, what what? Uh, payment is directly made to bank and passbook doesn't know about that. Okay. So passbook. Uh, uh, what happens with passbook? A dividend of eight thousand rupees directly paid into the passbook, but cash book here, on the other hand, doesn't know about that entry. Okay, here we have again eight thousand rupees in the pass uh, passbook extra eight hundred. So you know your cash book doesn't know about this, and in what does that mean? Again, the bank passbook is in the positive. Bank passbook is positive means. You have to uh, put that in the positive side entry in the BRC statement. Okay, so that entry we have made here in the positive side. Now uh, another is check deposited but not credited by the bank. Okay, so this is the third entry of six thousand rupees. Uh, this uh, check has been deposited. 
for your uh, into your account but that has not been yet cleared so what happens is uh, there is no entry uh, 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 in the passbook of that 6000 rupees okay but we do an immediate entry of that 6000 in our cash book so here what happens is a check has been deposited but when does bank made that entry in the passbook once that check is cleared okay i have given uh, told you that check, check might be of icici and you are depositing that check into sbi and it takes 2 to 3 days time uh, for check to be cleared so in 2 to 3 days uh, the amount will be uh, credited into your bank so at the time once check is deposited you make an immediate entry into cash book of 6000 rupees but yet check has not been credited into bank so this time bank account goes into negative bank account goes into negative you see the cash book is plus 6000 and uh, uh, passbook is minus 6000 here or uh, yeah. you can you can say zero okay just because nothing has happened to passbook so in that condition what happens is passbook in the negative that is and you have started with cash book your first entry is the cash book So your target is passbook, and passbook is a negative. So you will put a negative entry of six thousand. Or we have a direct route that uh, check deposited but not credited into the bank, and so that will go into the minus side in the reconciliation if we are starting with the cash. Okay. Now again, bank charges debited by the uh, bank. So uh, when we are making the bank charges so we are not making an entry in the cash book so our cash book is zero here cash book says zero but minus 400 is the uh, something that ha- that is happening into your uh, bank side okay into bank pass book so bank bank is immediately charging the 400 rupees okay and your cash book doesn't know so you are not putting any entry uh, for the cash book point of view but there is a minus 400 entry in the passbook so here again we say our target that is passbook that is into negative uh, that is going to negative so we will put in the negative entry just because we have zero no entry in the cash book that is zero and minus 400 so this this is lesser so if our target is lesser so that will go into the minus side i hope this uh, concept is clear we have to first uh, look for the who is um, uh, who is my target and how do we set uh, the target for brc so what is the very first entry is it cash book if our first entry is cash book then target is passbook okay if first entry is passbook then our uh, target changes into cash book here in this particular example we are starting with the cash book so our target is pass book okay now we are we have 50000 rupees in the pass book okay so we will put that uh, simple entry of oh, plus 50000 now what we do the the first entry of 6000 that is check issued but not presented for the payment means uh, you you have uh, issued a 6000 rupees check and you make an immediate entry in cash book so your cash book goes low to 6000 but check uh, yet your pass book does not know about this 6000 rupees means your pass book is still higher so say this is a condition uh, when uh, this is a condition when you have uh, pass book and cash book is equal so we will once we will make these kind of entry we forget about what is the balance and who rest of the entry we will only focus on the one entry only okay so we will uh, see that this is the cash book and this is pass book okay what happens in the cash book is you are um, issuing a 6000 rupees check so you have issued a 6000 rupees check so you are making an immediate entry of 6000 rupees in the cash book 
that 6000 rupees you have issued to mr ram mr vinod has issued 6000 rupees to mr ram so your cash book goes 6000 flow but passbook is still on the zero bus because mr ram has not gone into bank and not presented that so it is again zero so zero is much more than 6000 so this is positive so that will come into the positive side okay now second dividend collected by the bank again okay? this is cash book this is pass book both both are equal then what happens suddenly some uh, payments that come into the um, bank account that is dividend uh, uh, given to you of 8000 rupees so and your cash book doesn't know about it but just because dividend is a direct entry into your bank bank is authorized to collect that and uh, uh, in on your behalf so your passbook is not uh, cash book is not knowing so here our passbook is going to plus 8000 and cash book is again uh, into negative uh, or zero so 8000 is much more than zero so that is a passbook in the positive so we will do 8000 rupees in the positive entry again the next condition is check deposited but not credited by the bank in that condition what happens is we are depositing or uh, mr vinod has deposit a check uh, uh, or uh, miss uh, check has been deposited uh, but bank has not cleared that check yet okay so in that condition so we do the mr vinod do an immediate entry Of plus six thousand rupees because check has been deposited for Mr. Vinod into the Mr. Vinod's bank account, and Mr. Vinod knows about it, so Mr. Vinod does immediate entry of that six thousand. Now that six thousand is plus, but that has not been yet cleared by the bank. Okay, so bank this is still at the zero, so um, the passbook is the zero and cash book plus six thousand. In that condition, what happens is. Pass, passbook is the target, and that is the negative. Here, for the first time, so we will do the negative entry of that is in the BRC. We made a six thousand rupees entry in the negative side here. Yeah. Okay. In the same way, again, passbook, cashbook at the equal level. And what happens here is, bank charges uh, directly four hundred rupees from your. Uh, uh, account that is um, for something uh, 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 like annual charges. You see annual charge of your account that is four hundred. What happens here? Bank directly charges four hundred. Means the bank account uh, goes low. The passbook amount goes four hundred rupees low. Now here cash book is still zero because. That direct uh, charges is not being entered in the cash book just because we don't know uh, that this this thing has happened unless you match in that condition. What you see that uh, we uh, cash book cash book is at zero and pass book pass book is at minus four hundred. So here pass book is lower than uh, in the value than cash book. So pass book in the negative. So we will. Uh, put a negative entry here. Okay. Now then, what we'll do? We will uh, do a, a total of both the side. Huh? We uh, we will do a total of this. What we have in the positive that comes to sixty four thousand. Okay. So we will put the sixty four thousand on the both side. Then we will minus this six thousand uh, from sixty four thousand. That is. Uh, we have sixty thousand, and again, uh, uh, we we will uh, the we have fifty eight thousand, and we will again uh, reduce more four uh, hundred rupees more. That is, uh, we have fifty seven thousand six hundred rupees. Now we will match from the passbook. If the passbook amount that uh, bank has given us. That is fifty seven thousand six hundred. Then we will see in the bank reconciliation that all entries are proper. There is no confusion. There is no error. Uh, 
in any entry okay if your pass uh, passbook balance is 57600 in this case, condition with these entries these entries of 6000 rupees when check issued 8000 rupees when dividend collected and 6000 rupees uh, that will be deposited in your account and 400 rupees that has been debited from your account directly by the bank so when we have these entry and uh, we have a cash book balance of 50000 rupees when we started and at the time we see the 57600 rupees is the pass book balance given by the bank then we say is and every entry uh, is okay when we do this prc there is no error okay now we will move to the second example that is uh, the second example is we have and uh, related to something when we start in the favorable condition but we will start with the pass book here so the very first uh, entry that we have to make in here is like balance is showing 45000 rupees on 31st may 2017 so we have deadline here again that is 31st may and we uh, the pass book is showing bank passbook of ms and uh, ms boss and co that is 45000 rupees so we we have uh, here we have given uh, entry of 45000 so this will come into the positive side and along with that we will see these three entries more so what we see that we have a positive entry for passbook 45000 so here we have started with passbook now what is our target book always we have to find the uh, with what uh, with the term where how are we are starting and on the basis of that what is the target book now here we are starting with the pass book so and the pass book balance is 45000 rupees so in the in this condition target is cash book okay now we will see the first entry here okay and the first entry is related to uh, check issued uh, before 31st may so it is clear that check has been uh, uh, issued before 31st may so that will come under the brc uh, of 25940 uh, rupees but had not been presented for the in cash form so what happens is here that uh, uh, check is issued so uh, once the check is issued the entry in the cash book that is our target book has made that we have uh, done done a uh, entry of uh, exit of <laughs> we cannot say that entry uh, we we are making uh, 25940 rupees payment to someone that we will immediate do the entry of uh, that into um, uh into the cash book okay just because we are issuing so we are issuing so we know mr boss and co is issuing that so mr boss and co is knowing that they have issued 25940 rupees okay so in that condition we have our uh cash book uh, we uh, we have our pass book and we have our cash book yeah this is the cash book and cash book is the target book so what happens target book is goes in the negative negative with 25940 rupees so in that condition here uh, in the pass book side pass book doesn't know just because this has not been yet presented into the bank what happens mr uh, boss uh, ms boss and co has uh, made that check uh, issued that check but this person has not visited bank so he has uh, made a plan that he will visit on the 5th june for that uh, payment so he is he is not wrong he can go any time whenever he likes uh, to uh, get the payment but 
Bose and Co has issued, so Bose and Co has to make an immediate entry of minus 25,940 rupees. So they have made a cash book entry of 25,940 rupees on the immediate basis. In the that is in the target book, uh, the entry happens negative. Okay, and your passbook is showing no uh, changes in the account. That is zero. Okay. And here it is uh, minus 25,000. So the target book goes into negative. Once target book goes into negative, we the, do the entry as per our target book. So here we have made an entry of 25,940. Okay. Then we see that there is two checks uh, of 3,900 and 2,350 uh, 2, rupees. That has been deposited in the bank on May 31st. Okay, but that is a post dated check of June, suppose uh, 5th of June. So, what happens is uh, the payment uh, of that has been made, uh, that has been deposited, but that is not credited into the account. So, check issued of 29,900. Uh, sorry, check issued of 6,250. That is total of 3,900 and 2,350. So that is uh, deposited into your account, but not presented uh, in, into the. Uh, uh, that is not presented into the bank just because that is a post dated or that is in the, that the payment of that cannot happen in the banks uh, from the banks and this because that is post dated for the june okay and we are making that uh, we have brc brc deadline of 31st okay try to understand it we have uh, someone has deposited a check for ms bose and co the of total 6250 rupees for uh, that is a post dated check of june but that has been uh, uh, presented on 31st May, on or before 31st May. But that is uh, the date is written of June. So unless that date comes, that amount cannot be credited into your account just because the uh, uh, that would be a dishonor of the check. Okay. So in that condition, what happens if the V make or Bose and Co make an immediate entry in the cash book that this amount has been deposited by one of our customer. Because customer informs to Ms. Bose and Co on the phone that yeah I have uh, made this payment. In that condition what happens is that is an immediate entry in the cash book. Cash book means the target book here. Because we have started with the passbook, so target book is cash book, and cash book is showing an entry of plus 6250 rupees. Yes, that is going into the positive. And here the passbook remains at zero level. So this is the positive, target book is positive, target book is a positive. We will make an entry of positive 6250 rupees. So this is how we see the uh, this entry. Now another entry related to check dishonored. The, uh, there was also a debit in the passbook of 2500 rupees in present of a check dishonored on 30, uh, 31st May. So uh, what here is saying that check uh, has been dishonored. So bank will not pay here. Bank will not pay that uh, 2500 rupees, okay. Uh, but mm, mm, so we will see that there is a negative uh, entry for that happen because what happens is uh, check is the shown out, but we have made an uh, entry of 2500 rupees in the cash book that uh, this has been debited in the uh, bank. So what happens is 
Okay, we have put that check into the bank, and we have made a plus two thousand five hundred rupees uh, entry in the cash book. So cash book here is again in the positive, but that has been dishonored. Okay, so that is not going to be presented uh, added into your account uh, or pass book anyway. So again, cash book in the positive, twenty five hundred. And uh, uh, passbook is again zero. So our target book is again in the positive. So what happens in that way? That situation, target book in the positive. So we will put a positive. Now the last step, we have to match the account. So for that, we will total the plus side. Once we total the plus side, we will total the forty-five thousand six thousand two hundred fifty and. Uh, two thousand five hundred. So that total is fifty three thousand seven fifty rupees. Okay, and in that way we will uh, make the same and same entry here again, and we will deduce uh, this minus entry from this. Once we deduce that, and uh, what we see that twenty seven eight hundred and ten rupees comes here. So this should be our balance as per cash book. Now we will match the cash book if the cash book. Uh, balance is twenty seven thousand eight hundred ten rupees, and pa passbook balance is forty mm, uh, forty five thousand rupees, and these kinds of entry has been made. So in that case, that account is correct. There is no error anywhere during the transactions, and uh, uh, all the uh, differences created due to delay or recording non recording of the Payments uh, uh, are made clear here. Okay. Now we will see uh, another example that is related to overhead. So in the uh, we will start with again the cash book uh, in, in the over overhead situation. Then we will move to pass book in the overhead situation. So we have BRC. We have to make on thirty first March two thousand seventeen. So these are some transactions that Rakesh has. Made Rakesh had an overdraft of eight thousand as shown in his cash book. So we have overdraft. We will immediately go to negative side for that entry. It's very clear. And for the rest, we will so we will use the method we were using yet as the favorable way. The, at the time we have the favorable entry. How are we doing the entry? So in the same way. We will do the rest of these entry. So how this entry uh, these entry has happened? Here we have started with cash book. It's written here that overdraft as per cash book is eight thousand rupees. So we have started with cash book. So our target is again. Okay. Now the free first entry is check deposited but not yet collected charged by the bank. Hmm? Means uh, here, what is happening? Check is deposited uh, of two thousand rupees. Uh, so we have uh, entry of positive two uh, thousand rupees in our cash book. In the cash book, we have two thousand rupees positive just because uh, Mr. Suresh has called to Ramesh that uh, two thousand rupees has been deposited into your bank. So you make. That entry into cash book. So, Mr. Rakesh has made that two uh, thousand rupees entry in the cash book. So, cash book goes into positive two thousand rupees. And two thousand rupees. But what happens with our target? The target is pass book. Okay. And once our target is at zero, means target doesn't know if that this has been deposited into the bank. Because it takes two to three days time to bank uh, take uh, bank to uh, for uh, clearing that amount. For that time, this is bank amount that is the negative side or you say zero, but that is zero is lower than uh, this two thousand. Means our target book is lower than our uh, uh, the cash book. So in that case, what happens? Target book is lower. Target book is negative. So that will go to. Minus. Okay. Now we are seeing that bank 
charges of 60 and 100 rupees. So the fourth entry here, uh, the, there was a debit uh, in his passbook of 60 rupees for interest and 100 rupees for bank charges. So suppose that uh, overdraft is uh, 8,000 and for that 60 rupees has been taken as interest and 100 rupees is, of, uh, is the yearly bank charges suppose on the 31st march has been charged from the bank so in that condition what happens these are some direct entries made by the bank cash book and uh, cash book and cash book and pass book at zero and so suddenly what happens 60 and 100 that is minus 160 has been made in the our target book or the pass book Okay, so this is minus 160 and again we have 0 at the cash book uh, level. So now we see that a target book is going into negative again. So we have put the negative entry here. Okay, now check issued but not presented uh, for the payment. Okay, so in, in that case what happens? We, we have 0 level again. Yeah, we have zero level cash book, we have zero level pass book. Okay. What happens? We see that uh, Rakesh has issued uh, 800 rupees check huh? to Ramesh. Rakesh has issued uh, 800 rupees check to Ramesh, and Ramesh is not going to bank. Okay. But what happens to here? 800 minus interest. Cash book immediate entry because Rakesh has already made that uh, entry into the cash book. So the cash book goes minus 800 and yet presented or not presented in the bank doesn't matter, but that is still at the zero, zero level. Okay, so this is at zero, this is goes negative. So in that case, our target book is at positive. So we have put here a positive entry of 100 rupees. Okay, now we have uh, made a first entry of 8,000 uh, rupees, so we will do a total from this side here. Okay? So we have uh, total it, so total is 8,000, uh, 2,000, and 160, that is 10,160 rupees. So here we, we have to put the same here, 10,160 rupees, and we will reduce this much amount of 800 here. Okay. So what we see, balance as per uh, bank passbook should be 9360 rupees of over draft. If that is 9360 rupees in the overdraft in the uh, bank passbook as well, we will see our reconciliation is done. There is no differences now remaining. All the delay issues and uh, single side entry has been resolved here okay so we will uh, now look into our last example that is uh, again the overdraft but we see in this overdraft we will uh, do uh, we will start with passbook so it is related to asa and co of 30 uh, and we have to do the reconciliation on 31st december so these are uh, the entries that we have to make so the first entry is, it is very clearly written that overdraft of my uh, 20,000 rupees into passbook. So uh, we will start with minus 20,000 rupees as uh, it is in the negative, it is in the passbook, so it is given. Then the interest on overdraft, okay, the very first entry is interest on overdraft. What does that mean? But means passbook and cash book here we are we suppose that is at the balance level zero zero and suddenly we see that passbook goes negative of two thousand rupees that that is the uh, interest charge on the overdraft we don't know in the in the cash book that interest had been charged the passbook goes more negative and this once this goes negative here our target is cash book why cash book because we have started with passbook we have started with passbook target is cash book and cash book is at zero okay 
So cap book is at positive, so we have made a positive entry of two thousand. Then insurance uh, premium paid by the bank. But again, bank is paying directly. Cap book not knowing anything. So again, uh, this has gone to negative. So we have put a negative entry of two hundred. Next is check issued but not presented for the payment. Okay. So in, the, uh, in that case, check uh, the cash book and pass book at balance level. Check issued. Check issued means immediate entry into the pass book. Pass book goes. Uh, immediate entry. Uh, sorry. Check issued. That means immediate entry into the cash book. Cash book goes low. Means cash book goes low. Means our target book goes low. Our target book goes low. Means that is a negative. Same check deposited, but not yet cleared. Means uh, for Asa and Co company, uh, you are paying, uh, you are depositing a check of six thousand rupees. Means and you are informing to Asa and Co that six thousand rupees has been deposited into your account. Uh, so Asa and Co has made an immediate entry into the cash book. Means cash book again goes into positive. Target book goes positive, however, that not cleared. That will be cleared in two, three days, four days, five days, whatever time does it take go to go through uh, process. So, our cash book uh, at that is our target book as well is in the positive and pass book at zero level. So, in that condition, what will happen for the target book? We are in the positive, so we will do a positive entry. Okay. So positive entry here is made of positive. Then next is wrongly debited by the bank. Okay, so wrongly debited uh, by the bank means cash book zero, pass book zero. Uh, bank debit that uh, automatically. Uh, cash book doesn't know. Cash book at zero level, and pass book goes to minus five hundred. If target book is positive, so we will make a positive entry of 500 rupees. Now, we have started with here. So, we will make a total of this. That is 26,500 rupees here. Right? And what happens uh, for the next? We will do a total of these entries. These entries. We will not look into this entry. This entry, 70,800 rupees. This is something we have to match. So we have total this and debited it from twenty six thousand five hundred rupees. So when we uh, debit uh, deduce these entry from uh, this uh, twenty six thousand five hundred rupees, then what we see the, the amount comes that is seventeen thousand eight hundred rupees. So now we see our cash book. If in the cash book, if we have seventeen thousand eight hundred rupees. Uh, overdraft, but and we have started in the with passbook of twenty thousand rupees overdraft. In that condition, we will say that uh, reconciliation is done. If all these matches, this and this matches, then we will say reconciliation is done. All the issues related to timing has been resolved. All the issues related to single side entry has been resolved. Okay? That single side entry, uh, you say recording difference. Okay. So that has been clear. So I hope these uh, things, uh, these concepts of reconciliation, how we do the reconciliation is done. So we will now look some uh, questions and answers. Uh, now those questions and answers are generally related to, uh, you say, um, like multiple choice questions or objective questions. We will look into that. So uh, here we will start uh, with the question. The very first question is check issued to customer but not presented for the payment. So we have to find here is it is it any kind of gap time gap or uh, error? What is time gap? I have already talked in earlier that when the, we made an entry but payment not happens. 
from bank end it takes time from bank end okay so uh, there is a gap created uh, between that uh, payment and entry into uh, cash book so check issued to customer but not presented for the payment so this is a very clear example of time gap again check is uh, amounting 5000 rupees is issued but recorded 500 rupees it's a clear blunder it's an error everyone knows that uh, if you have uh, issued 5000 rupees check you have to make an entry of 5000 uh, rupees so if you are making entry of 500 rupees in that place means you are making some fraud or gotala kind of thing hmm? and now uh, we will go to another question of the i made some mistake in the question order it could be question number 3 here okay so interest created by the bank but not yet recorded in the cash book what happens is uh some interest uh, on your saving has been created into your bank account but cash book doesn't know about it cash book enters it for the with delay in that condition what happens is it is again a time gap example check deposited into bank not yet collected by the bank again this is time gap uh, the last question here is bank charges uh, bank charge debited from firm's current account by the bank so bank charges automatically and cash book doesn't know so entry happens at two different time so that is a time gap example okay now we will look some further question so here is the answer of all those now another question is copy of customer account uh, when appears in the ledger uh, of the bank is called so bank uh, is making some copy uh, copy of customer account uh when uh, appears in the ledger of bank is called so bank maintains and uh, ledger uh, of each customer so what is that called that is called passbook okay next question is when uh, what uh, when does the bank debit account from the customer so this is some misprint so uh the thing is uh, the question here is uh when does a user uh do a bank debit uh so in that case uh, uh, when is debit entry uh, the question here is when is debit entry made into uh, the account by the bank in your passbook when is debit entry made in the account of customer so that answer is when some money is withdrawn when some money is withdrawn from your account in that condition uh, what happens bank makes a debit entry from your account next is when does the bank uh, again i don't know why this is uh, some grammatical error in the typing i don't know why Again, okay, let me clarify the question. When does bank make a, a credit entry in the account? So I'm opposite of this. If you are withdrawing money, that is debit, and you are and depositing the money, that means credit. Very normal. Normally, cash book shows a debit balance, and the balance shown in the pass book is credit balance. We know the these are the opposite. If cash book debit. passbook uh, credit passbook uh, uh, debit cash book credit so these run in the opposite okay now uh, last question of the slide favorable balance as per the cash book shows which balance in the bank column of the cash book the question here is favorable balance as per cash book we see, uh, see in the cash book there is some favorable balance that shows which balance uh, in the um, bank column of the cash book so the favorable balance in the cash book means 
credit in the cash book side so that is debit uh, into the passbook side okay so this so you should be very clear about that if that is debit in the cash book side the, that will be credit in the, the passbook side if that is uh, credit uh, into the cash book side that will be the debit in the passbook side and if that is Uh, debit in the cash book side that will be credit into the cash book side you have to be very clear about this when you are dealing with the bank reconciliation next next question is uh, a bank reconciliation statement is prepared by so who do the bank reconciliation so obvious the account holder in the bank account holder want a match between the cash book and cash book okay So answer is C. Bank reconciliation statement is what is the bank reconciliation statement? Uh, is it a part of cash book, part of uh, cash book, or both? Uh, no, it's not all three. It is a statement prepared by the customer. Because on the basis of this cash book and pass book, we prepare a separate entry. We have seen the example where. when we are we are making the brc statement uh, so we are making a separate statement okay separate statement made by the customer so answer is d here okay now next question is a bank reconciliation statement is prepared with the balance so which, uh, which balances we make the bank reconciliation statement so we take the both passbook and cash book on the basis of which we make the A bank reconciliation statement. That means our answer is C. Both passbook and cash book. Okay. Now the another is passbook is a copy of is obvious uh, copy of customer account made by the bank. Okay. Now next is uh, unfavorable bank balance mean. What is a unfavorable bank balance? That is un. the overdraft bank balance what does that mean credit balance in the pass book you have to be clear that there is some credit in the no this is the credit balance yeah this is the credit balance in the pass book you have to be clear about you have a credit balance in the past a favorable bank uh, bank balance means debit uh, balance in the cash book okay uh, uh next is uh, okay in brc overdraft as per the bank is taken uh, as a starting point what action is to be done with the check issued but not presented so check is Check issued. Uh, so if you will see, uh, we have started uh, the with the pass book. Our target is cash book. Okay. So action to be done in the cash book. Uh, what action we need to do, uh, Daniel? Uh, uh, what action to be done with the check issued? So, so check issued. So our target book goes low, immediate. so in the brs order uh, passbook is taken as starting point what action should be done with the check issued and but not presented so we have started with the passbook okay and the check issued but not presented so uh, our ta target book is, is our cash book so when we issue a check we make an immediate entry okay so that uh, that goes into negative side okay once that goes into negative side our target book goes to negative side we will make it debit okay so here the answer is wrong so it should be reduced okay <laughs> now the question is bank reconciliation statement is mainly prepared for so why do we make a bank reconciliation statement So, 
why do we do it to reconciliate the differences between the bank balance shown by the cash book and the passbook so we just want to know what is the difference and we uh, want to reconcile between uh, all those differences between the balance shown in the passbook and cash book okay now a bank reconciliation statement is prepared with the balance of bank reconciliation statement is prepared with the balance of what bank reconciliation statement is prepared with the ba uh, balance of either cash book or passbook so we will start with any one i we have to start with either cash book or passbook okay the next question is which of the statements is not the part of double entry system so cash book payroll balance journal or brf so if we uh, one of the statement here is uh, not the part of double entry book bookkeeping system so that is brf brf is a separate kind of uh, uh, statement that we make on the basis of cash book and pass book So it's not a double entry system. Okay. Now next question is we have to mark true and false here. So first question is passbook is a statement of account of the customer maintained by the bank. Yes, or, or it's obvious it's true. The passbook is a statement that bank gives to us. So a business form periodically presents a bank reconciliation statement to reconcile the bank balance as per the cash book with the passbook as these two show difference uh, for various reasons yes obvious there may be some differences and we have to uh, do a periodical uh, brc for that uh, to avoid all those differences to have the clarity now third question is check issued but not presented for the payment will reduce the balance as per passbook uh, check issued but not presented the payment will reduce the balance as passbook it's obvious correct check deposited but not collected uh, will result in increasing balance in the cash book uh, with compared to passbook yes overdraft as per uh, the passbook is less than overdraft as per the cash book when these uh, there are checks deposited but not collected by the worker no There is a false statement. So we we'll look into it. Overdraft as per the passbook is less than the overdraft as per the cash book. So we suppose that here we are saying the overdraft in the passbook is less than overdraft in the cash book when check are deposited but not collected by the bank. No, it cannot happen. So when check is deposited into the bank. so in that case uh, what happens is we we make an entry into a cash book okay uh so we we make an entry on the cash book but we don't make an entry of that into in the the uh, pass book okay so in that case our draft will uh, will be again higher because that and uh, is already in the negative so if that is negative and here we are adding some positive number uh, in the cash book only so this is not going to happen in the pass book so overdraft as the pass book is less than overdraft as per the cash book okay so this is the form is the sixth is the debit balance of the bank account as per the cash book should equal Uh, to the credit balance of the account of the business in the uh, books of bank yes uh, always this would be uh, true that debit balance of the bank account and uh, as per the cash book should be equal to the credit uh, balance of the business account of the uh, bank of um, uh, bank or uh, books of the bank means credit of cash book should be debit of pass book and uh, debit of passbook should be treated of cash book so here uh, with that concept this is true the seventh question is favorable bank balance as per the cash book will less than 
the ba uh, passbook balance when there is an uh, there are unpresented check for present. Yes, of course this is true. The eighth question is direct uh, collections are received by the bank on behalf of the customer. Would increase the balance as per the uh, bank passbook when compared to the balance as per the cash book. Yes, bank is di directly taking uh, some collections on behalf of you uh, of the customer. Then passbook entry goes up. It's true. So when payment made by the bank as per the standing instructions of the customer, you have authorized the bank to make your payment. Automatically, the balance in the passbook will more than compared to cash book. No, never. So passbook is making. Uh, entry by it, uh, itself so it will goes on reducing the amount but the cash book will stay at the same place so this statement is so thank you we have seen the bank reconciliation and uh, we have seen uh, the method of entry in the passbook and uh, cash book here we uh, how we have started this chapter and then uh, we see the bank reconciliation uh, what is the bank reconciliation? Why do we do the bank reconciliation? And after that, we have seen the reason of differences. In the reconciliation, we come to know that we do the reconciliation because there are some differences between bank account and cash account. Okay? So we have uh, seen the reasons of those differences. There are the three reasons we come to know due to time, due to uh, single side entry or that is uh, uh, recording differences or a third could be uh, some error okay so we have not covered the error part we will look uh, into that into next video okay then we what is the dishonor of check we have uh, uh, gone through that in detail then we have gone to how do we prepare the brs statement what are the steps of those uh, how many types of BRS we can make? We we can make a favorable uh, starting with cash book and favorable starting with passbook. So this this is two uh, two uh, types, and then we are now unfavorable starting with cash book and starting with passbook. So there are four methods. Uh, how do we uh, do the bank reconciliation? And after that, we have seen multiple questions. So uh, there are few errors uh, in the typing error. Uh, uh, I will provide you the correct slide, and you go through this video. But uh, the slide you will get that that will have a uh, correct question uh, grammatically. All the grammatical error will be removed. Okay. So thank you very much uh, for joining this session. And uh, if you have any query, I know that the consultation is a bit uh, tricky comes into your mind once it's okay but it doesn't come into your mind it's a bit tricky to know how do we do the reconciliation uh, because one side it is debit and the side is credit under side it, it is uh, debit the side is credit okay? so in that case uh, if you have any uh, issues anything uh, related to this chapter or uh, any other chapters of accounts or related to earlier videos you write to me on this mail id that is a Y U S H V R D H N at the gmail dot com. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And you can subscribe to the channel of Antara. And thanks Antara for giving me this opportunity uh, to come on your channel. Thank you everyone.